He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. The book of John, chapter 17 and verse 4. And the book of 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 6, two scriptures, the book of John, chapter 17 and verse 4, and the book of 2 Timothy. Chapter 4 and verse 6. Reading first from John chapter 17, verse 4, it reads thusly I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. Those words were spoken by Jesus. He said again. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. Then Paul writes to his son Timothy in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 6, Paul writes, I am now ready to be offered. And the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Today I can speak to you from this subject, a purpose-driven life. Do the one listening to me. Amen. Amen. A purpose driven life. Yes. The life of every Christian should be a purpose driven life. Amen. You see, when a person accepts Jesus Christ as his Lord and his Savior, the purpose of his life changes. Amen. 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 He no longer lives his life for himself. He now lives for Jesus. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 15, he no longer lives his life for himself. Now he lives for Jesus. Is anyone listening? Amen. Perhaps many Christians have not been taught this. No. This teaching might be repulsive mm -hmm. to some people's idea of Christianity. Mm -hmm. This might not fit someone's idea of Christianity. The purpose driven life might not fit someone's idea of Christianity. You see, some people want to share their lives with Jesus. Yes. Not knowing that Jesus demands their entire life for himself. Yes. Amen. 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 Does anyone hear that? Amen. Amen. Some folks think that they can share their life yeah. with Jesus. Not knowing that you have nothing to share. That's right. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because he demands your entire life yes. for himself. Yes. You are a living sacrifice. Yes. Yes. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Your life is already given up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Amen. And Paul put it this way in one place. He said, I am crucified with Christ. Yes. Nevertheless, I live, yet not, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. Amen. Amen. 
life that I not, the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Is it wants to do this? Amen. Because some folks think that they can share their life with Jesus, give him a, give him a part of their life, and keep part of themselves. That might be why we find so many humbly minded Christians. Yeah. So many spiritually weak minded Christians. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's why you find so few that are really spiritually minded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you see, you cannot live for yourself and for Jesus at the same time. Amen. 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 Your plan for your life must not interfere with the Lord's purpose for your life. Amen. If you hear it your plan, whatever that might be, for your life, it must not interfere with His purpose for your life. Mm-hmm. Well, it might, it might be surprising to some to know that the Lord wants me to serve Him without distraction. Yeah. Amen. 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 That might come as a surprise to some guy. But the Lord wants me to serve Him without distraction. Amen. 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 Well, because of that, they don't get what they have to get them because they don't know that he wants it. Uh -huh. Nothing should be allowed to distract you from the purpose of serving God. Amen. Amen. Nothing should be allowed to distract you. Amen. You got to read your Bible. Amen. 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 So much. Nothing should be able to distract you yep. from that purpose, your purpose, sir, mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Therefore, some go through the motions of Christianity. Yes. Some go through the motions. Yes. They talk like saved people. Oh, wow. They pretend to be saved people. Oh, but then they, they are all about themselves. All about the Lord. It's about you. Amen. 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 Their purpose in life is not the glory of God, but their own glory. Amen. Amen. Their lives are drawn by their lives are driven by purposes that do not glorify God. The true Christian's life is driven by a purpose to honor Christ. Yes. The well-learned Christian feels that he belongs to Jesus. Yeah. He believes that all of his time and talents and all of his strength of intellect and body should be used to glorify the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 He lives a purpose-driven life and that purpose is to serve the Lord Jesus Christ yeah. and to please Him. Yeah. Some people think that they should only live their lives to satisfy themselves. Lord, amen. Amen, amen. Amen. This could, this could never be the attitude of a real saved person. Mm -hmm. Lord, have mercy. A real saved person who has a good understanding of the word of God. Amen. He could never think about living his life to satisfy himself. Amen. If he can will at all, if he understands, he knows that he must live his life to serve and please God by himself. Right. If that's the truth, you cannot live to satisfy yourself. Amen. Amen. Even Jesus Christ himself, he didn't come here to satisfy himself. He came to give his life for us. Amen. He didn't come here to live. He came here to die. Amen. You know what he did? Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. The main objective of the Christian's life is serving the Lord Jesus Christ and pleasing God. Amen. Uh -huh. But Satan, the devil, offers you 
many distractions to deter a saved person from making Christ the main purpose of his life. First of all, Satan does not want a saved person to even know that serving Jesus is the main purpose of his life. He doesn't want folks to know that. Uh -huh. Jesus, Jesus is not something that you add to your life. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You know Amen. Jesus is not something that you add to your life. Jesus must be your whole life. Amen. 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 Jesus must be the purpose that drives your life. Uh -huh. Amen. But how many Christians have been taught this? And how many Christians believe this? And how many Christians live their life like that? Amen. Amen. Almost every person's life is driven by some purpose. Uh -huh. Every person's life Amen. is driven by some purpose. Amen. Mm -hmm. But how many church people have the Lord Jesus Christ as the main objective of their lives. Talk about church people. They are here with Amen. You see, Jesus came into the world. He was driven by a purpose. He didn't stop by here on vacation. He came here for a purpose. Amen. He came for a purpose and he said, I came to lay down my life for the sheep. Uh -huh. Amen. That's what he said. Amen. Mm -hmm. I came to lay down my life for the sheep. Satan struggled to distract Jesus from that purpose. Yeah. Amen. 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 That is so true. Jesus said he came to give his life for a ransom. And he would not be deterred Amen. from that purpose. Amen. Amen. Somebody. Amen. He, would let, he would let nothing get in the way of him completing his mission. Yes. And the Bible said that for the joy that was set before him, you don't hear me now, Amen. Amen. You better have some joy sitting before you. Right. You better be able to look beyond your cross and see your crown. Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. Somebody. You better, you better see something that's worthwhile the suffering that you got to go through to follow Jesus. Amen. If you don't see it, you won't pay the, you won't pay the price. Amen. Mm -hmm. Jesus, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross. Are you sure listening to me? Now, he didn't let the shame stop him. It was a shameful thing yes. to be crucified. Yes. Amen. Shameful thing to have to bear your own cross. Yes. Down through the streets of Jerusalem, where people hectic you yes. and laughing at you. Uh -huh. He didn't let none of that stop him. No, and he knew that from, from the beginning that that was going to happen. Amen. Are you still listening to me? You better know that something is going to happen mm -hmm. that could change your mind about following Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Or it could distract you from giving the Lord all that you should give him. Yeah. Yeah. Something will come up mm -hmm. to, to, to try to get between you and Jesus. Yeah. But the Lord will let anything stop him from completing his journey. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Until he could finally say, it is finished. Are you sure? You know, on the cross, after they had done everything they could do to him, he finally said, what? It's finished. Meaning what? I have done the work that you sent me to do. It wasn't easy. It wasn't enjoyable. 
It was hard. Amen. But I did it. Amen. It's finished. Amen. I had a purpose that was hard to achieve. Yeah. But I made it. Amen. It is finished. Someone tell God, thank you. Thank you Don't you allow anything to compete with Christ in your life. Does anyone hear me now? Don't you let anything compete with Christ in your life. Well, what was the purpose of your life before you, before you got saved? What was the purpose of your life before you accepted Jesus? What was your life all about? What was your purpose? What were you living for? Did anyone hear me now? Amen. Coming to Jesus necessitates a change of purpose. Amen. Whatever your purpose was, right. when you came to Jesus, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. your purpose changed. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. When you came to Him, uh -huh. something else began to drive your life. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. There was a purpose, there's a purpose now driving your life that was not driving your life before. Uh -huh. But now that you know Jesus, and now that you understand what he has in store for you, Amen. and because it's so precious, you don't dare miss it. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. So you allow that purpose to drive your life. Uh-huh. And you live that life until the end. Amen. Because he said, be faithful unto death and I will give you a crown of life. Amen. So you endure your hard places because your life is driven by a new purpose. Amen. Your old purpose must not compete with your new purpose. Amen. Amen. Some folk like, like to hold on to their old stuff. Yeah. You don't hear me now, do you? Amen. They want to do the same thing they used to do. Yeah. That somebody drive their life like they used to. You can't do that when you come to Jesus. Amen. Amen. You can't let something else drive your life. Amen. Jesus must drive your life. It is. Amen. Your life is driven with a purpose. That purpose is serving God, pleasing Amen. Jesus, Amen. living for Him. Amen. Your whole purpose must not compete with your new, with your new purpose. Amen. 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 When He says, "If you come to me, you must deny yourself," maybe you didn't take that seriously, but you have it. Amen. Somebody. When He said, "If you," If you save your life, you're going to lose it. Maybe you didn't take that seriously, but you should have. Amen. 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 Because you cannot live for yourself and for him too. Amen. Whatever that purpose might be. Amen. 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 You don't just add Jesus to your life. Does anybody still hear me? Amen. You don't just add Jesus to your life. Mm -hmm. Jesus must be your life. Amen. Amen. Oh, someone did it. Amen. Amen. They say, well, I'm going to start going to church. I'm going to do that. I'm going to give the Lord some of my time. Blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. You got the wrong idea. You are not going to add Jesus to your life. Amen. Amen. He must become your life. Amen. 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 Your reward. You know what I mean? Your reward is worthy of your sacrifice. Amen. Do you think that God is not able to pay you oh, yes, for what you do for him? Amen. Amen. Do you have an idea who you're dealing with? Do you think he can't satisfy you? And you are afraid to make the sacrifice because you are afraid you're going to lose something. Amen. Yeah. God is a just God. Amen. When you think 
he cannot satisfy you? Yeah. Do you think he can, he's not able to reward you? Yeah. Yeah. He is able to reward you. Yeah. Richly reward you. Yeah. And you're holding back, afraid to give him all, all of you. Because you're afraid you're going to lose something. You can't lose anything following Jesus. Amen. 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 But your faith must be strong enough to know I cannot lose anything uh, if I give my all to him. Thank you, Somebody tell him thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, thank you, Lord. we read about one man's purpose. Yes. One man's two examples of being a purpose-driven person. A man that can show us two examples of being driven by a purpose. The Apostle Paul, I told you when I read the scripture to pay attention. He said that he thought within himself, in other words, he acquired a purpose. He decided. He, yes. mm -hmm. he purposed within himself yes. that he ought to do many things contrary to the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That was his purpose. Yes. Amen. Listen to me. Amen. 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 And he said he did that. Uh -huh. He pursued that purpose. Yes. He was driven by that purpose yes. in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Well, what did he do? He said, I shut up many saints in prison. Uh -huh. Anyone did that? Why were you doing that? He was driven by a purpose. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. I shut up many saints in prison. Uh -huh. When they were put to death, I gave my voice against them. Uh -huh. Amen. It was Amen. Why were you doing that? Paul, because I had a purpose. Yes. I was pursuing a purpose. Yes. I was driven by a purpose. Uh -huh. What was your purpose? I wanted to do all I could mm -hmm. against the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And that purpose drove me yes. to have people killed. Uh -huh. That purpose drove me to put people in prison. Yes. He said, I punished them in every synagogue. Uh -huh. And I even compelled them to blaspheme. Uh -huh. That's an evil way of life. Yes. But that was his purpose. Uh -huh. But then, you know the story, don't you? Mm -hmm. That was his first example. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That was his first example. He said that he was exceedingly zealous uh -huh. as he pursued that purpose. Amen. But then something happened to him. Anyone wants to listen to me? Is anyone wants to listen to me? The same Saul of Tarsus who was named Saul yes. before it was changed to Paul. Yes. Yes. He had did pretty much all he could do in Jerusalem. Uh -huh. He felt like he had done a pretty good job yes. in Jerusalem. Amen. So he wanted to go someplace else. Uh -huh. So he could find some more Christians, some more apostolic Christians, uh -huh. calling on the name of Jesus. Yes. But if I could find them, I'll bring them back to Jerusalem and yes. put them in prison. Yes. Yes. Perhaps they would have them killed. Uh -huh. So he got authority from the high priest uh -huh. for what? Go down to the masters. You know what I If you find any folk down there in the masters calling on the name of Jesus, uh -huh. you are authorized to arrest them uh -huh. and bring them back here to Jerusalem to stand trial. And they might be put in prison or they might be put to death, but you are the rise to bring them back. Yes. Amen. So Saul took off on his journey going toward Damascus. Yes. And he said, as he was going toward Damascus, uh -huh. 
I assumed he was almost there. It would have been there. Amen. He said it was close to noonday when all of a sudden a light shined around him. He said the light was brighter than the sun. Right up in the noonday sun, saying it was so bright until he fell. Uh -huh. Amen. And those who were with him, they also fell. Yeah. Y'all yeah, can hear me. Amen. And then he heard a voice talking to him. Amen. Y'all still listening to me. Amen. Amen. Whoever this voice was, they knew that Paul or Saul could understand Hebrew. So they spoke to him in the Hebrew language. Yes, Y'all don't hear me, do you? And called his name Saul, Saul. And asked him a question. Why are you persecuting me? It was to hear me. Amen. Saul, as you can imagine, must have been greatly astonished. Who is this in this bright light calling my name? And saying, I'm persecuting him. Uh -huh. Who art thou, Lord? Who are you? And the Lord said, I'm Jesus. Amen. Who am I persecuting? He said, It's hard yes. for you to kick against the prayer. Yes. What do you mean by that? You might have thought I was dead, <laughs> but now you know that I'm not dead. It's hard for you to kick against the prayer. It's hard for you to deny it now. They told you I was alive, and you thought they were lying. But now you see me. And it's hard for you to deny it. You hear me today? So, at that point in time, Saul, whose name was changed to Paul, Became a new creation. Yes. Does anybody hear me? Yes. When you come to Jesus, you become a new creation. Yes. And when you become a new creation, you get a brand new purpose in your life. Yes. Amen, yes. somebody. Yes. He became a brand new creation, uh -huh. and now he was driven by a new purpose. Yes. Amen, yes. somebody. Amen. What was his purpose? This purpose demanded. A willing sacrifice. Amen. Why? Because Jesus told him that on Damascus Highway, he said, Get up, yes. Yes. rise up on your feet, uh -huh. and go to Damascus. Uh -huh. yes. Because I appeared to you, the opposite to me. I appeared to you for a purpose. Amen. I appeared to you for a purpose. Amen. What, Lord? I'm going to make you a minister. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. To the Jews, to everybody else, uh -huh. even to the Gentiles, to whom yes. I'm going to now send you. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm giving you a new purpose. Yes. Amen. Amen. You can take it or leave it. There's no way that. Amen. He's giving us a purpose. Yes, he has given us a purpose. You can take it or you can leave it. But if, if, if you believe he's real, as Saul of Tarsus believed he was real that day, when he said, Lord, what would you have me to do? And he told him, I'm going I'm to make you a minister. I'm going to send you to the Gentiles. You have a brand new purpose. Yeah, All told the king, he said, well, king, yeah. I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision. No. How can you be disobedient when you see the truth so plain? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that purpose that he was driven by the man of the sacrifice. Yeah. Amen. 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 And he said, in one of his letters to one of the churches, he said, after he got saved, after he saw Jesus, yes. he said, I labored more than all the other apostles. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. I labored more than all the other apostles. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. 
He said, now, I was stoned. Yeah. Yeah. They stoned him one time, remember? Uh -huh. And thought he was dead. Yeah. Yeah. Why would he go through that? Because he was being driven yeah. by the birds. Yeah. I was stoned. I was put in prison. Yes. Uh -huh. Why? I was driven. Yes. I was beaten yes. mm -hmm. more than one time. Mm -hmm. Why did you allow yourself to go through that? I had a purpose. Amen. I was driven by the purpose. What was your purpose? I wanted to serve uh -huh. the Lord Amen. better as a Christian uh -huh. than I did as a sinner. Amen. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, he said, I, I was hungry. I was cold. Sometimes homeless. Why were you going through that, Saul? Oh, because I was driven. Yes. Uh, so Thank you. Yeah. Then after a while. He came to the end of his journey. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And he said he knew that his life was almost over. Uh -huh. He believed that he was going to be put to death. Yes. The same way he had had people put to death. Uh -huh. He was sure the same thing was uh -huh. going to happen to him. Uh -huh. And he said, the time has come now for me to be offered. Mm -hmm. Time for me to pay my price, pay my debt. Yes. Mm -hmm. Time for me to lay, lay down my life. He yes. says, now, I want you to know something, Timothy, before I leave. Uh -huh. I fought a good fight. Mm -hmm. Someone's going to thank you. Thank you I hope when you see him, mm -hmm. you say, Lord, I fought a good fight. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Amen. I found out what my purpose was, and I pursued that purpose. Yeah. I fought a good fight. Did anyone hear me now? Amen. He said, I finished my course. Yeah, yeah. I have a race to run. Amen. You hear me? Amen. I have a journey to make. Uh -huh. I have a course to go through. Yeah. He said, I finished it. Uh -huh. The same way Jesus said on the, on the cross, I, it is finished. I have finished the work that you gave me to do. Yeah. Paul said the same thing. I have finished my course. Yeah. I hope you can say the same thing too. Yeah. I hope I can say the same thing too. I hope I can find a good fight. Yeah. I hope I can finish my course. And finally Paul says, I have kept the faith. Yes. Can I get a witness in the house? Yeah. I have kept the faith. The purpose required that I keep the faith. Yes. So I kept the faith. Yes. I could not turn around. I could not go back. Once I knew it was real, all I could do was give myself to it. Yes. Someone's in a thing. Thank you, Jesus. You must have a purpose driven life, people yes, of God. Yes, sir. Yes. You're not just doing this to be doing it? Not just working with emotions? I just do what you saw somebody else do or say what you heard somebody else say. Yeah. Hmm. But you understand yourself. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Saul of Tarsus, he, he was so sure mm -hmm. that those other apostles were lying when they said that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. He said, That can't be. Yeah. I don't believe that. I can't yeah. see that. And what is more, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do all I can to stop God from saying that. That's what he said. But then, on the Damascus road, yes. he saw him. Yes, he did. Yes. When he saw him, but everything changed. Yes, right. I wonder, since you said you're seeing him, how much has changed in your life? Hallelujah. Are you driven by the right purpose? What purpose is now driving your life? Oh, y'all don't want to talk about that. What purpose is driving your life? 
Are you doing pretty good? Are you almost? Are you near? I came to tell you something. That won't get it. 99 and a half will not do I got some bad news for you. 99 and three quarters. Won't do. It gets worse than that. 99 and nine tenths won't do. Why? He demands what? One hundred. Will he take less? You shouldn't even dare to offer him less. He wants all of you. He wants you completely. As I said a moment ago, if you give it to him, he's able to give you more than you ever think or imagine. You can even imagine what God has in store for you. Trust him. Your sacrifice is worthy of his reward. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or his reward is worthy of your sacrifice. Yes, amen. His reward is worthy of your sacrifice. Yes. Oh, so I'm you can't beat God giving. Amen. Mm -hmm. amen. The more you give to him, the more he gives to you. You can't beat him giving. He has more to give you than you have to give him. Amen. 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 So why not pursue the purpose that leads to salvation Amen. and everlasting life. Amen. Why not live a purpose-driven life? Amen. Either that in here, that in here. Amen. But the Spirit saith unto the churches.